So you've recorded a thrilling Zoom video. Now what? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your Zoom video for free. First thing we gotta think about is how we're actually recording the video in Zoom. So in Zoom, you're able to record multiple clips and you should use this to your advantage. So don't record everything, record only the parts of your Zoom video meeting that you want to use. So I'm gonna start by recording a couple clips that I can use and then I can later show you how to edit together when we get to the editing program. So we're gonna record Recorded this computer, unmute myself, and I'm recording. So this is video one, I'm recording video one, and now I'm gonna stop the recording. So stop that. So once you have all your clips recorded, you can end, end meeting for all, and now you're just gonna have to wait for the videos to process. The longer your video is, the longer it's gonna take to process and to convert. Once it's done converting, it's just gonna open up your folder and in there you will see your clips. However, if you can't find your clips or you close this folder, you can find them by going to your home, documents, zoom, and then there are all your clips. Now that you have all your files, it's time to edit them in an editing program. For this demo, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. If you haven't heard of DaVinci Resolve yet, you need to download this program. Not only does it allow you to edit professional videos, but it's also free. DaVinci will take a moment to load, so just have yourself a drink, relax, and wait for it to open. One thing I do suggest for your project files is create folders for them. The more organized this is, the easier it is to find your files later. So you can see all my folders have my different projects in them and I don't have to scroll for pages just to find a video. So I'm gonna go into my YouTube and I already created a project file for this, so I'm gonna go into that. Okay, so now we're in DaVinci. DaVinci has different tabs and each tab allows you to do a different function. There's media, cut, edit, fusion, color, fair light, and deliver. Media just allows you to import all your media. Cut allows you to cut your shots. Edit, this is where you're gonna be doing a bulk of your work. This is where you actually edit your videos. Fusion allows you to add special effects to the video. Color allows you to make your shots nice and pretty. Fair light is for audio. And finally, deliver is to export your video. In this video, we're only gonna be focusing on edit, color, and deliver. So let's go into edit, and in here I can import my files. Right click and go to import media, and then click on my videos. So let's go over the sections of the edit tab. Here are my clips that I've imported. Here is my preview window where I can preview a clip. Here is my timeline preview where I can preview my timeline. Here I'm gonna be able to adjust my clip. Here are my transitions and effects. And then here is my timeline. So you can add clips to your timeline by either taking the clip and dragging it right onto the timeline or double clicking on it and it's gonna appear in your preview window. To select a portion of the clip, you just press in, which is I, and out, which is O, for where you want it to start and when you want to end, and then you can drag it down. For this, I have three clips. What I can do is I can just drag my clips down into my timeline. I can drag the full clip. And the great thing is right here, I can see the audio waveform. So I can tell that here at the beginning of the clip, I was not talking because it's silent. So what I can do is I can trim that so that that starts there. And then I can go back and I can trim the end of my clip. So if you wanna trim a part of the clip, you can grab, see that end there, and you can move it over, or you can change tools. To change tools, you can change between your blade. A blade allows you to cut, and then an arrow, and an arrow allows you to select. So if I select that, press delete, that part of the clip is done. So then I can see now my clips. I'm gonna turn down the audio on this. 
So you can see now my clips are right here and I can put all my clips together until I like them. So say there's another mistake here where I don't like this end part, I can go back. So I press B on my keyboard, press A to switch to the arrow, select that clip, delete it, and now that part of the clip is deleted. Okay, so now that we have our clip edited, it's time to make it look pretty. So there's a lot of controls in here and we're not gonna dive deep into all these controls. I'm just gonna show you the ones that you should look out for. So first of all, you can see here there's a one and two. You can toggle between this. And what it does is it has contrast. You can fix your contrast, your saturation if you want just that, uh, your temperature, so if you want it warmer or cooler, add shadows to it. I also suggest playing around with your curve a little bit. So just insert your blacks and then raise your midtones. Okay, so now that our clip looks nice and pretty, all we have to do is export the video. So you're gonna go over to deliver. You're going to give it a file name, zoom, video, edit, choose where you want that file to be saved and then you're just gonna change the format from QuickTime to MP4. Next, you wanna add that to your render queue. So I'm gonna add it over here, and then you're gonna start your render. Now, it's creating your video, and you're ready to use your edited Zoom video. If you want more tips on how to film your Zoom videos, check out my video, How to Look Good on Video Chat Lighting Tips. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to learn how to produce high quality video for your online courses. Until next time, peace.